this is a video about the Lorentz force acting on a charged particle in both an electric and magnetic field. So the Lorentz force is defined to be just the net force, which is the sum of the electric force QE plus the magnetic force QV cross B. Okay, so it's this velocity of the particle that we've been told is constant. And if the velocity is constant, that implies the acceleration is zero, which means the net force is also zero. So in fact, the left-hand side of that equation is zero. It's QE plus QV cross B. So right away that simplifies things quite a bit. Now, because the left-hand side is zero, we can immediately cancel the charge. And basically we have that zero is equal to the electric field plus V cross B. Okay, well, let's put in the values for E and B and we'll see how this simplifies as well. So we have zero, the electric field is four K hat. Now the velocity vector, we don't know what components it has, but this cross product, let's write it out as a matrix, X component of velocity, Y component and Z component. And then for the magnetic field, we'll put two for the I hat component, negative three for the J hat, and there is no K hat component. Okay, so that's what the Lorentz force actually boils down to, which we can carry on and actually work out the components. So when we take the determinant, we get an I hat component of VY times zero, so that's zero, minus, minus, 3vz, so that'd be plus 3vz. And then the j hat component, the negative j, vx times zero, minus 2vz, so it has a minus 2vz. And then the k hat component, that determinant would be negative 3vx minus 2vy. Okay, so let's have a look at that. There, the I hat and J hat components have to add to zero because if on the left it's zero, it means every component has to be zero, which tells us that VZ must be zero. That takes care of both the I and J components. And then let's look at the K components. What do we have? On the left, we have zero. We have four K hat minus three VX minus two VY. That's the K hat component. Okay, so that's equation number one. It still has two unknowns, both Vx and Vy. So let's look at what else we know about this velocity. It says that the velocity vector is perpendicular to the magnetic field. That means, so since V is perpendicular to B, it means their dot product is zero. V dot B equals zero. So let's actually dot that. It would be VX BX plus VY BY plus VZ BZ equals zero. Well, those are both zero anyway, so that's out. And that leaves us with VX and BX we know is two plus VY and BY is negative three equals zero. There's equation number two. So we have two equations with two unknowns, Vx and Vy. It's Vx that we want. So I'll solve equation number two for Vy. Vy would be, so this is from number two. Vy would be two Vx over three. Now I'm gonna sub that into equation number one. And equation number one was that four equals three Vx plus two Vy, two Vx over three. So this is three plus four over three Vx, and that allows us to get Vx. Four divided by three plus four over three. And that's the answer. If you needed by, you could always go back 
and sub that in up here for vy to get the y component. Okay, so that'll do it.